Power on kick, we are live. You can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. You know, that's where we watch stuff that we can't watch on YouTube. We upload five days a week. If I miss a day, I usually, you know, figure it out for y'all. And we also got the Discord. The link to follow any of these socials are in the, is in the description below. Now, this is Nottingham. Two university students among three killed in attacks in UK City. I honestly had no clue this happened until today when I was looking for videos to watch. And I was like, whoa, I didn't know this happened. So let's let's get let's get into it. Y'all know I'm with y'all, you know, through good, bad, thick or thin, so I'm just going to bring you some uh, breaking news now. Uh, we understand um, that two of the uh, people who died in this incident are uh, students at uh, Nottingham University. Um, that has been uh, sent to us uh, a statement from the university saying that uh, two of their students uh, have died uh, in this incident. So clearly uh, tragic. Um, events and um, we we knew that there was a bit of a delay in uh, getting information about exactly who Wait, the victims happened? were. And probably uh, was because the uh, university was first being informed, and now that information coming out of the University of Nottingham that uh, two of uh, their students uh, died um, in this incident. And we had a, a, a statement earlier from. Um, the Nottingham okay, University okay. Students Union where they said that they were devastated and shocked by the tra tragic events um, but uh, it did so three people have been killed in total in attacks in the UK city of Nottingham so like okay in the chat they're telling me some crazy guy went crazy alludes to um, uh, any of their fellow students um, being uh, killed in this incident um, but uh, they said that we stand in solidarity with our students in the wider city and our thoughts are with the families and friends of those harmed alongside that's crazy r.i.p well my whole thing is like okay so who was expected to stop this guy you got to call the police right and then armed police have to come not regular police so if there's a policeman standing right there the hell, what are you going to do? He's going to be a victim like everybody else because he ain't got no way to defend the public, right? This is just my question. This is just my line of thoughts when I hear something like that. Yes, I have this shirt on at the same time while I'm doing this. So let me, you know what I'm saying? But like, like who's, gonna, who's defending? Like who was supposed to defend this situation? Two got stabbed, one ran over with a car, wasn't gang related. The motive is unknown. Okay. Now, in, now anyway, what if there was a, a brave bystander, right? A brave bystander standing there who decides to jump on the attacker, take the knife or do something, do something brave and, 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 and unalive the guy right there to stop his madness. What, does he get in trouble? Some of the laws is just wild, like. Those directly and indirectly affected by the unfolding of these terrible They just tased them, but how long did the police take to get there is the question. In light of this, we have made the decision to cancel grad ball this evening. Attendees will be contacted in due course, but in the meantime, we are continuing to work with the university and relevant authorities to understand the situation. That's a statement that came from uh, the Nottingham University student. And this guy is still alive. He's in custody, right? That's what y'all saying to me? And he's going to go to court and he's going to get sentenced to X amount of years with a 21 year max and he'll be out. That's wild to me. In this union, um, and we've had a statement direct from Nottingham University confirming that uh, two of their students um, have died. And um, we have a, a statement that I've just been handed to by my colleagues here from the Uni of Nottingham. If he was in America, he'd be in like some type of maximum security for terrorists or something. 
this is damn near an act of terrorism. When people do like, like, and even at that, he might plead insane and go to 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 the, you know, get a lesser sentence. Nottingham. I'm interested in this case. Like, I'm going to follow it. And they say it is with great sadness that we confirm. We have whole life sentences. There's only 47 people on whole life sentences in the UK. It's very rare. Um, the sudden and unexpected death of two of our students following a major incident in Nottingham city centre overnight. We are shocked and devastated by the news and our thoughts are with those affected and their friends and their families and uh, there's, a, there's a short thread actually on Twitter and in the next tweet they say that we know this is likely to cause distress for staff and students in our community. Support is available through our support and wellbeing services for any of our community who may need it. So further confirmation then from uh, the University of Nottingham that two of their students uh, have died. Back to you. Back to Callum, thank okay. you. Well, thank you, Callum. That update there, uh, information on the identities of two of Hold on, wait, 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 stop. 31 year old arrested on suspicion of murder after Nottingham incident. On okay. the identities of two of the people killed here overnight in a very much developing story and one that is really um, dominating several other not just the headlines. Several other people have been taken to the hospital. also brought the centre of Nottingham to a standstill today. Let's bring in Danny Shaw, who's a crime, police, and justice commentator and former correspondent at the BBC. Hi, Danny. I just want to ask you, first of all, about the police statement that we had just over an hour or so ago. Um, no doubt you've seen it, gone through it in some detail. What stood out for you? Most people have no clue that in 2023. There go again, man. Skip! What the heck? Come on. Now, for me, from the statement was the uh, quotation from the Chief Constable Kate Maynell, uh, in which she said that the police needed to determine the motives uh, for the attacks. So that. Uh, Why, though? Y'all know he did it. <laughs> Why do we need a motive to just stop just in case it was, it's deeper than we think? Because the, the, it might be deeper than we think. I, I don't even understand. If y'all called him red-handed, what do we need to determine a motive for? Put him in jail for life. I got a... He was in Texas. He'd be getting that penalty of unalive. Sense from that that the police are, are really not sure um, what has motivated these attacks and whether clearly they are linked, but whether the same motive um, is behind all of them. So he was just going around like all around the city center. So this didn't happen all at once. He was just going around attacking people. You know, this happened in Chicago right before I moved on the north side. There was a dude that went from the north side all the way to the south side. He was out west, and he was, like, on a killing spree, kind of. Like, it's an IHOP on Howard Street, Howard and Howard and um, Asbury. Howard and Asbury, that's, that's Evanston, but it's right on the border of Evanston and Chicago. And he went in there, and he shot up that, uh, that IHOP. I'm surprised. That nobody in there had it on him and took him out. Because after that, he went out south and killed two people. Uh, I don't know. Like, be weirdos. Whether indeed there was some incident in the first attack on Ilkeston Road, whether that was sort of separate from what followed later. So I think that really stood out for me. Also the fact that... The police are still working with counter-terrorism officers. Counter-terrorism officers are working alongside them to establish the facts, to understand what's gone on here. Now, it can take some hours, some in some cases days, before police declare that an incident is terrorism-related. They're clearly keeping an open mind. They haven't ruled it out at this stage. And that's why counter-terrorism officers are involved. Sometimes it's very quickly apparent that it's not a terrorism related incident and sometimes it is but clearly there are still some y'all should charge them as one 
issues that the police are, w are working through and part of domestic terrorism for that will very clearly central to this is the background of the suspect who is currently in custody police will already i am sure have searched uh, his home address any other locations that he's visited uh, they will have seized computer devices digital devices his, his smartphone if they can get into it looking at contacts he's had who he's been associating with what websites he's been visiting and so on to try and establish any motivation any link to anyone else they say no one else is involved but that will be crucial to to their inquiry uh, to establish exactly exactly the why what happened okay i get it i get it i get why they search for a motive but shoot this sounds like a mental break is clearly in terms of that that will be done in clearly in terms of you just snap evidence gathering on the scene cctv footage uh, and and eyewitness accounts will help them establish what happened but it's the why okay you're repeating yourself. police operation businesses as well shut down at numerous police cordons the one behind me and at least at three other sites and as i was walking through the city center to try and get here as well because of all the road closures i saw at least two police armed police officers as well a highly unusual site in in this city center so give us a sense of the the scale of that and how difficult an operation it is for the police because this is a major investigation there could be a criminal trial and they have to gather all the evidence it could be a trial. only get one chance to do it they can't come back in three weeks later and say well have, let's have a look at that curb Bye -bye. are there any time yeah, yeah yeah man do the proper police work now because i've seen too many cases too many documentaries where police work was underdone and it came back to you know bite y'all in the butt on crazy people and things of that nature. on that curb for example or, or did we miss um you know some forensic yeah, just make sure everybody's doing their due diligence man r.i.p to all the people who lost their lives to the three people that lost their lives and uh you know my best wishes to the people that were wounded and yeah lock that man up forever just tell her leave a like comment subscribe turn your post i'm gone